Welcome to Talk of the Town. I'm your host, Carrie Dillon. We are joined by the illustrious Barbara Catanese, <laughs> Heritage Library. There's always cool stuff going on. And for those of y'all out there with hungry brains, this is the perfect resource for you. <laughs> perfect resource. So y'all have classes online. You all have had to shift stuff with all of COVID, but great fall events coming up. So mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about your classes online right now. Right now, we're offering both genealogy classes and history classes. We have some great classes on um, how to work with Family Tree Maker, which is a software program. Um, tracing your Quaker roots, which Ooh. is a new program for Ooh. us. Some of the history programs, we're going through Reconstruction. We're doing a, a program, two-part series on slavery in South Carolina. Um, so those classes are fun. Uh, they're all online now. All you have to do is sign up on our website. And uh, we've had a great response to online classes. We were a little nervous at first, but no, we're getting a great response. Yeah, when, once people kind of settle in and realize exactly what you can do, you know, my brain has been starving and, and mm -hmm. this has been like a perfect time for me to kind of dig in with a couple of things that, you know, that I've needed to to sort of feed that need to understand my environment around me. Absolutely. We have great history here. We do, it's, an, it's an incredible place to live. Little tiny island, great big history. Right? Exactly. Yeah. Now, you all have a, um, a Halloween-ish, fall-ish um, myths, ghosts and myths. Ghosts and myths. Program ghosts, coming up. Ghosts and myths is our traditional kind of end of the tour season. We do do tours at our sites. Ghosts and myths is at Zion Cemetery, and it is a little bit history. A little bit Halloween and lots of fun. Lots and of that fun. is October 22nd, 23rd, and 24th, two shows nightly. And so y'all are still doing tours right now. We are. We, so what are some of those tours that you can go on? We do tours at both Fort Mitchell and Zion Cemetery. There's a tour this morning at Zion Cemetery. Tuesdays are Zion Cemetery. Thursday is Fort Mitchell. And it's just, it's a great way to spend an hour and learn a little bit more about our history on site, right yeah. on the sites where that history happened. That That's the thing. I mean, it's one thing to sort of like look online and see photos, but to actually stand on that ground. I mean, we have some really hollowed ground here. We do, and we have some living history characters that you get to talk with throughout the tour. There's a docent that'll take you through the tour, but then you get to meet some living history characters, and it's a lot of fun. Now, your, your living history characters, mm -hmm. what do they have to do to become a living history character? They have to do some studying. Yeah. They have to know that character. Um, and we have lots of, you know, we have lots of research on the folks who lived here. So, you know, the Devants and the Kirks and the Baynards and the soldiers, General Mitchell, um, you know, folks like that, we know who they are, and those living characters have to learn who they are. Is there anyone left in this area of that lineage? Have people found that oh, out? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. There are still lots of folks from that lineage. And we, you know, especially, well, the, the fort was obviously, you know, folks that came through during the war. So we didn't have, they weren't living here. They were here because of the, because of the war. But from the Zion Cemetery, those families are still here, absolutely, and we hear from them regularly. and And many of them are members of the library, which is which well, sure, is that's terrific a no -brainer. for us. Yeah, yeah, that's a no brainer. Which is absolutely terrific for us. And so during that Confederate time, it was was there just a uh, was there there was a battle that took place here? There were lots of battles here. Sure, absolutely. Well, I wouldn't say lots of battles. Um, Hilton Head Island was taken by the Union Army early in the process, but remember that, you know, we had a hospital here. We had the beginnings of Mitchellville. We had a number of forts because they had to protect everything between Beaufort and and Savannah. So that, that whole Port Royal Sound area was, was a major part of the Civil War. Sure, and you know, just looking at the elements with that, you know, mm -hmm. without having any, any development on it, like trying to navigate those bogs and swamps and that's you know being transported in time I think I I don't think I'd actually want to have boots on the ground I think I'd just like <laughs> sort of see it from a drone type standpoint yeah, it's, it's it's a little bit uh it's a little bit nicer now now that we're resort it's a little bit nicer than what those soldiers experienced sure. absolutely I mean just when you really think about that what what uh mm -hmm. what people have been through I think it's so important to look at that it is and it's 
it's really kind of knowing your community, where have we been? Yeah. Because that helps you determine where you're going, without a doubt. Without a doubt, Heritage Library. Stop Absolutely. on, get on their website, sign up for a class. It's a good time to do that. Absolutely. Buckle down and study about your environment. Barbara, thanks so much. Thank you. Good to see you. You too. We'll be right back with more Talk of the Town.